Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. So the new patch is here and the Frosted Expanse has finally arrived on the live servers. So we're gonna go ahead and run through it. As always, edit it out all the battles so we can just go through, uh, see exactly what you gotta do. If you haven't seen yet, make sure we clear out all of those chests, including the two red chests. We'll see at the end uh, what is in those, but look at the loot. There is 66 total chests, which is just absolutely phenomenal. It's Lilith, I guess, guess, little Christmas gift to us. And right off the bat, I do have Belinda in my team. So huge relic right off the bat, which is awesome to start. This one I did have quite a bit of trouble with. There was a couple, I think like three or four battles. As you can see here, you get the little snowman cannons. So you can go ahead and click him. It'll clear out some fire. Uh, it'll clear out a couple other spots that you'll see in the future. You use most of the snowballs just to hold down some switches which is good, you can run around, um, clean out all the enemies. You do have to kill all the enemies in here. I believe there might be one that you can miss just because they all hide treasure. And if you see, and look, the ice bringer there as well, very nice. And as you can see from the treasure chest, they do uh, kind of blend into the back territory. So here I had to swap up my uh, team comp a little bit. And Athalia, which is the har harbinger of justice that I have in the right side picture, she is really tough, especially when you fight her. There's a lot of battles in here that you fight her and you fight Nara. Um, make sure you're being real cognizant of the battles because those team comps are really difficult to deal with. So if you're having problems with them, just make sure before your heroes die that you're either pausing it, resetting it. Here we gotta move our snowman over, make sure you step on there. These little switches, as you can see, it froze the ice there, so our snowball rolls right across and puts the fire out. So we can move, progress up a little bit through. We'll go to our left side first. And it's kind of a path of just clearing enemies. You take out one of the enemies, you collect a treasure, take out the next enemy, I think you get one or two more treasures, and so on and so forth, kind of through the whole entire thing. I go this route first because there is your relic. You only get, I think, three or four relics through this whole entire thing, so there's not that many. So I, I started off with really good relics here, which was good. But the amount of loot getting 66 chests, and if you can see there, uh, another battle with Athalia. She is in, I'm not even sure, because there's another battle with Athalia. Making sure that your team comp, uh, Brutus is a really good combina combination or um, adversary against her because she can't kill him off the bat. Another one that I use is Rowan because from the initial DPS, because it is over a certain percent, it doesn't hurt him. Here you do have to hit this little lever. Um, you got to move your snowman a little bit. And what will happen is the little snowball will bounce right off of the piece you brought up. So that freezes that little lake. You can switch your lever back, move over your snowman, do the exact same thing on the other side to freeze both sides of the lake. If you do make a mistake, you can use the snowman again. And there you go, our lake is totally frozen. So go ahead and pick up our relic, which of course the spell book, having, a, um, having Belinda in here. This battle going this way, you can get the Tattered Scroll. You can read it if you want. I kind of just skip right over it. Um, you have to have Taylene in your, in your party to kill the enemy up here. She is the only one. So we'll go ahead and collect all these, but that battle right there, which I'll show you later on in the video, that is the only battle that you need Taylene um, to get through. But don't worry because you do get a copy of her. Not to keep, of course, unfortunately, but you do get a copy to use. So make sure you do not start this battle. You have to go up and get Taylene first. If you do start the battle or defeat the battle without her, she will not extinguish the fire shrine. So you won't be able to progress anymore and you'll actually lose out on all the loot on that bottom side. As you can see here, ton of enemies. And again, Athalia is in this combination as well. And there is a ton of loot. I believe with 66 chests, I, I think I approximated with, I get around 500,000 for um, a chest. So I'm thinking probably around 20 million gold, hopefully, is what I'm hoping, just, just a rough calculation. Those 24 hour chests, like I said, they give me about half a million each. So we'll go ahead and see at the end, we'll go ahead and open all of the chests that I get. And that doesn't include the ones, and there's Athalia again. Athalia-Brutus combo is pretty tough when you're fighting them. And there is the other one, Nara. So 
So making sure her, the, these battles are pretty tough with Nara. I had her take Falks there on the other side. So be careful with these battles because you don't want to get halfway through this. And there we got some faction scrolls, which is awesome. You don't want to get halfway through this and then have to restart it because there are a ton of battles in here, as you can see. When I first made the video, it was 30 something minutes long and I edited, edited the battles out and it went down to 11. So through the editing process, got a lot of it done, a lot of it moved out. A very kind of short, sweet, I believe 11 and a half minute video. So here you do have to move a couple snowmen, again, using the same tactic that we've seen. Your snowball here will bounce right off the wall to hit the button, freezing that lake. Your snowball on the top will hit the button on the bottom, which bounces right off the cart. You have to be stepping where I am right there on that button. So you can get all three buttons together. So we'll go up this way, we'll clear out this battle. And again, another battle with Athalia. So if you do like Athalia after this, you might not like her so much because there's another battle with Athalia. I believe uh, Lilith really got Athalia happy on this one. So look, hey, that was actually a battle without her. Between her and Nara, pretty, pretty tough combo. And they're running all Maulers there, which is pretty easy. I, even the two unique battles, which we'll see coming up, I left the unique battles, and that's our first red chest. Not sure what's in them yet. I haven't seen them. A lot of people said they couldn't get them, which, I mean, that one seemed pretty easy. I'm not sure if the other one is past where Taylene is at or where you have to use her. So we'll go ahead and clean up back here. And again, there's another battle with Nara. If you guys aren't using Nara, especially with her signature item, she is super overpowered. She will defeat an enemy, and then as soon as they're down, and that's a tough battle too. Shimira and the twins, so if they get some haste up, let's make sure my uh, heroes are all, all kind of topped off here. That's a, that's a tough battle there, but we got it down. Uh, like I was saying with Nara, she'll um, grapple an enemy and then stun them, start going to town. Once that enemy goes down, so if you do have someone who can assist her, She'll grapple another enemy and so on and so forth throughout the entire battle. It's pretty neat, especially if you have someone like Cirrus that can do a knockback. Uh, she'll re-grapple them once they do the knockback. And if you see through here, um, my team comp in a minute, um, I have been running Arthur. A lot of people say endgame, he's not too good. I've found him super, super useful in here. Um, he hasn't died once through all the battles in here. And this is the battle, or this is one before... So this battle coming up right here, this is the battle where you get Taylene. So this one, once you work, which there's only three enemies in this battle and it makes it a lot easier because I do carry Falks in here, as you can see. So it makes it a two on five. So we get Sat Satranda, Satranda uh, right down and that is it. So here she says she's gonna go ahead and join us which is nice. Uh, right here, the Rising Phoenix, Taylene. Hail to you champions, you passed my trial. And here we get another red chest. So we got both red chests. Now let's go back to the battle that I was talking about earlier that you have to make sure you do not do for this fire shrine. Now, if you look at this combo, not sure where they, uh, the mapping went, but my little horse and buggy are running over there somewhere. Uh, this battle, if you look at the team comp, it's pretty strong. It's a pretty solid team comp. And as you can see there, I put in Taylene right in the back to actually replace her with Rowan. Wanted to keep a Belinda in there. As you've seen, they just, Belinda just knocked off probably 75% of their hit points and making sure that we keep them alive in here. That way we can clear this out. And these are the two battles that I left in here. Like I said, this one, you have to use Taylene if you don't use her. She will not extinguish the fire shrine, which you'll see right here. And there, the fire deity destroyed the fire shrine. So we'll go ahead and we will clean up the rest of these battles. And that's a, another little tough battle if you don't get baited down pretty quick because uh, ads can actually overrun you. But most of these, Thoran seems to be a really big bane in here as well, just because he puts the dot on your back line hero. So if they do take any damage, usually it gets them down to zero hit points. So if they do take any damage, they die, as well as running the full 
um, Greyborn team as you've seen right there. So a couple more chests. It looks like we got one more battle and that'll conclude it. Make sure right here, look, it says you finished the adventure. You completed the adventure. Do you want to finish the adventure? If you finish the adventure, it should close it and it will clear it with all these chests that I'm picking up right now without you getting them. So make sure you don't finish the adventure until you're really done with the adventure. Not sure if that's a bug or anything because when I go through and I grab this chest, it said the adventure was completed again. So seemed seemed a little a little early once I got my last uh, crystal chest. So that cleans it out. So that's all of the crystal chests, all of the golden chests. So full clear there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the loot because I'm not sure what's in the red chest. Hopefully we got some some heroes, maybe some. All right, we got some emblems, which is good. Uh, we don't have any emblems for Arthur, so. Not too bad. We do have them for the factions and the Celestials and the Hyperion. The second one is very nice. So we have Nara, we have Satrana, we have Namora, and we have Astrilda. So out of those two, uh, Nara and Satranda are the only two you can't buy. The other two you get in the store. So not, not too happy, but let's see. Nope. So we got eight. Eight million gold, which is awesome. Always short on gold. 28 million experience. And the big thing, the hero essence, which I always lack, almost 5,000 hero essence. So on chapter 25, that's what you're going to be pulling out because it's based on the chapter you're in. So let me know what you guys think of the new Voyage of Wonder. And always, thank you guys for watching. Glad I edited out the battles, made the video kind of short and sweet at 12 minutes. Let me know in the comments what you think. And have a good night.